It's about a young girl called Ariane Wingrivel and um, she is an apprentice witch and at the start of the book she's off for her evaluation to graduate to become a fully fledged witch and um, it all goes horribly wrong for her. The world that they live in is magical but it's not Magic isn't a secret in that world, it's very ordinary, it's very everyday and so the witches in the book are like public servants so if you've got a problem with something magical, say for example you've got an infestation of snotlings in your kitchen then you call your local witch and she'll come round and get rid of them for you. A small surge of power zipped through Ariane Wynne as the flow of energy connected with her. A luna, water, healing, divination. The sensation was like cold pins and needles. She felt dizzy. To summon the magic in the book, the witches and Ariane Wynne use a set of magical symbols which are called glyphs. Erte, which is the earth glyph, and Ardra, which is the fire glyph, Aluna, which is the water glyph, and Bria, which is the air glyph. The book has a very um, kind of retro feel to it for me, very sort of vintagey, um, almost quaint, but with a, an underlying um, darkness, um, which is the, the kind of the threat to Ariane Wynne and the world, which she overcomes using her, her powers, but also her own resources, her own personality as well. I hope people will take Ariane Wynne to their hearts for her courage, her bravery, her sense of adventure. She cares so much for the people around her, even when perhaps they don't care much for her, um, that she always does the, the right thing, even when it's difficult for her. At the end of the book, you just want to be best friends with her.